Hello YouTube, this is DVD Review Studios here, and today I'm going to be doing a video of my entire Blu-ray collection for 2016, uh, which I've organised my Blu-rays pretty much by genre and by director, pretty much the first shelf anyway, and the second shelf is just some random box sets that unfortunately could not fit on the other end of the first shelf, and then we have some TV shows and some random kids movies. Uh, so let's begin with the top shelf. Okay, so first up for the top shelf we have Jurassic Park, the Ultimate Trilogy, followed by Jurassic World. Uh, next up we have the Stanley Kubrick Visionary Filmmaker Collection box set, which is absolutely magnificent. Uh, a very easy way to get the vast majority of Kubrick's masterpiece movies in one particular edition, uh, which the titles that stood out for me personally, I quite enjoyed The Clockwork Orange, one of my all-time favourite movies. Uh, 2001 A Space Odyssey is phenomenal, love Barry Lyndon, which was brand new to me, I quite enjoyed that film, and uh, Full Metal Jacket was very good as well. Uh, so there's four movies I would definitely recommend and grabbing that box set for. Uh, next up we have Spartacus, another favourite Kubrick movie of mine starring Kirk Douglas. Uh, next up we have Back to the Future, the 30th Anniversary Trilogy box set. Absolutely phenomenal. Uh, love these movies. Back to the Future Part 2 is probably my favourite. I just quite like the consistency of the directing from Robert Zemeckis and there's some amazing special features on here as well. Uh, Rise and Dawn of the Planet of the Apes in this little double pack which I love these movies. I always have to watch these one after the other consecutively. Uh, love the ending of Dawn and I cannot wait for War of the Planet of the Apes. Uh, next up we have the Men in Black and Men in Black 2 double pack, which I got this for a bargain on Amazon a couple of years ago for about £3. I uh, quite like the first film, the second one's pretty mediocre to be honest, and the third film is uh, definitely the superior one, so that's the Men in Black trilogy. Uh, next up we have my all-time favourite movie, and that is Limitless, starring Bradley Cooper, Abby Cornish and Robert De Niro. I uh, love the directing style of this, Neil Berger did an amazing job with the cinematography. Uh, narrative is superb, and I love the soundtrack, something that I do listen to quite often. And I love that movie so much so, I grabbed the unrated extended cut which has about 10 extra minutes of footage with some mild uh, nudity and explicit scenes which honestly it probably wasn't worth grabbing but uh, I am a completist when it comes to my favourite movies at least so I just had to grab that uh, particular cut of the film which has an alternate ending as well. Uh, next up we have a few sci-fi movies, District 9 by my favourite director of sci-fi films Neil Blomkamp. Uh, Love this movie, absolutely superb. Uh, his other movies are unfortunately not as well hyped up as uh, critics should really be uh, treating them. I really did enjoy Elysium uh, starring Matt Damon and Jodie Foster and uh, likewise with Chappie just did not really get the credit it deserved I really thoroughly enjoyed Chappie uh, next up we have two J.J. Abrams movies uh, Star Trek and Star Trek Into Darkness and uh, we also have the Thing remake from John Carpenter absolutely amazing film love this glossy slipcover uh, another J.J. Abrams movie The Force Awakens absolutely phenomenal I refuse to buy however the first six films on Blu-ray I just prefer the originals on DVD uh, Donnie Darko one of my all time favourite movies uh, Ex Machina, very thought-provoking film, very evocative ending as well, I really thoroughly enjoyed it. Uh, Inception, absolutely amazing DiCaprio film, amazing uh, cinematography and CGI throughout this film, and I love the slipcover as well. Uh, Source Code, starring Jake Lindenhall. I actually quite like this film at first, but I've gone off this in recent years. Uh, the beginning is very good, I quite like the repetition of the train sequence, but aside from that, uh, the ending does definitely let this film down. Uh, the Adjustment Bureau, uh, quite forgettable actually, it stars Matt Damon and Emily Blunt and I really do not recall this so that's definitely going on the rewatch pile after this video. Uh, Robot and Frank, uh, very underrated movie in my personal opinion. You can check out my top 10 most underrated movies of all time the, uh, video which this features in uh, to get a quick synopsis of the movie but I really enjoyed it and I would definitely recommend watching it. Uh, Whiplash, amazing Miles Teller movie. Uh, a couple of David Fincher movies, Fight Club which I've been obsessed with for the past couple of months and uh, The Social Network. Uh, the Great Gatsby, love Tobey Maguire's performance in this film. Argo, not really the biggest Ben Affleck fan, but this was really well directed and I quite enjoyed it. Uh, the Box, a quite mediocre Cameron Diaz movie. I quite enjoyed Frank Langella's character in this film, however. Scarface, absolute classic, love Al Pacino. A couple of Scorsese films now, we have Taxi Driver, uh, Goodfellas, which was amazing, and uh, The Wolf of Wall Street, which is very enjoyable as well. Uh, amazing classic film, The Shawshank Redemption, love Tim Robbins and Morgan Freeman. Uh, Blood Diamond, love the character that DiCaprio played, a very evocative ending once again. Uh, 12 Years a Slave, a movie that I still have yet to watch, so I'll be sure to watch that as soon as possible. Uh, a couple of Clint Eastwood related films, Dirty Harry and uh, Sudden Impact, which was pretty mediocre. Uh, Gran Torino, really well directed. American Sniper, once again, really well directed. Love Bradley Cooper as an actor. The Fighter, amazing movie. I love the chemistry between Mark Wahlberg and Christian Bale. Uh, next up we have Ghost Protocol from the Mission Impossible franchise. I really like this, actually. I don't really like the first three films. They're quite, well, not very good. But the fifth film is quite good, and I really enjoy Ghost Protocol. Uh, the A-Team, pretty decent movie. 
Unknown. Uh, Man on the Ledge, one of my all-time favourite films, even though I didn't really count this in my top 20 list a couple of months ago. Uh, but yeah, I really do love Man on the Ledge, a very uh, underrated movie. The Inbetweeners movie and The Inbetweeners movie 2. Silver Linings Playbook, another great Bradley Cooper movie. A couple of comedies now, we have Kick-Ass and Kick-Ass 2. Uh, 21 and 22 Jump Street. A Stephen Merchant stand-up comedy called Hello Ladies. Uh, Ted the Stillbook Edition. A Million Ways to Die in the West, which I actually found much funnier than Ted, to be honest, even though this film is less uh, popular. A couple of Todd Phillips films, The Hangover, Hangover Part 2, and Part 3. Uh, one of my all-time favourite comedy films, The Big Lebowski. Crazy Stupid Love, Ashens, and The Quest for the Game Child, a film made by a YouTuber, surprisingly, which I quite enjoyed. Uh, the Cornetto Trilogy, Hot Fuzz, and Shaun of the Dead, well, Shaun of the Dead, Hot Fuzz, and my personal favourite, The World's End. Uh, Burke and Hare, really great Simon Pegg movie. Paul v. Steelbook Edition. How to Lose Friends and Alienate People. Uh, Scott Pilgrim vs. The World, amazing movie. Uh, a couple of Marvel movies now, Iron Man and Iron Man 2. Debating whether or not to pick up the third one, I'm not a big fan. Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, one of my all-time favourite movies. And uh, finally we have The Avengers and uh, Avengers 2, which I quite like the second Avengers. I'm not a big fan of the first one, though. I just cannot uh, seem to like it. I've watched it multiple times, but I just really cannot get on board with it. Uh, so that is the first shelf. Let's move on to the next one. As for the bottom shelf, first up we have X-Men, the Cerebro Collection, which contains seven of the X-Men movies, uh, which this has X-Men all the way to my personal favourite days of future past. Uh, next up we have the Dark Knight Rises Steelbook, amazing movie. Uh, Watchmen, a very underrated DC movie in my personal opinion. Uh, a couple of TV box sets now, Better Call Saul, Season 1. Uh, Arrow, Season 1, Season 2 and 3. Uh, American Horror Story Asylum. Honestly, I'm not really a big fan of American Horror Story, but Asylum was definitely an exception just because I really thoroughly enjoyed it. Uh, season 1 Murder House was very poor in my opinion, and I didn't really get past... I don't think I got past episode 2 of Coven, so I'm just going to leave it at that for now. Uh, the BBC series of Sherlock, I thoroughly love. Absolutely amazing television, so there's season 1, uh, series 2, and uh, series 3. Uh, next up we have Rick and Morty Season 1. I genuinely cannot recommend this show enough. Uh, I've recently pre-ordered from the American Amazon Rick and Morty Season 2 just because you cannot get uh, Region B copies of uh, this in Europe, but... Honestly, I would highly recommend the show. Stream it online. I believe it's only 21 episodes long at the moment uh, with season one and season two. Uh, but I really love this show and I've done a review of this and I would definitely recommend watching that as well if you are intrigued to get into the show itself. Uh, next up we have Hannibal season one, season two and season three, which I would definitely regard as one of my uh, all-time favorite TV shows. Maybe even my second favorite show of all time. I absolutely love Hannibal. Uh, next up we have a couple of horror movies. Red Dragon, the Hannibal Lecter trilogy. Uh, Beginner, and then we have Sons of the Lambs and the conclusion of the uh, Hannibal Lecter trilogy, Hannibal itself. Uh, Nightmare on Elm Street, the 2010 remake starring Jackie Earl Haley. I didn't mind this film. I've seen the originals and I'm not a huge fan of slasher films, but I quite liked uh, the reimagining of the character of Freddy Krueger. And then we have some kids movies. The Lego movie, which is quite good. Uh, Despicable Me, which I very much enjoyed. And Despicable Me 2, which I hated at first, honestly, but I, it's grown on me, let's say. Uh, so that's Despicable Me 2. Uh, a couple of Pixar our films, Up, which is amazing, uh, Monsters University, the prequel to Monsters, Inc., my favourite Pixar film, and uh, then we have Cars, Ugh, and uh, uh, Cars 2, which is okay, actually, I don't mind Cars 2. And uh, for a couple of box sets, we have Family Guy, It's a Trap, the t-shirt edition of the uh, final Star Wars film parody that they did, and uh, a Lego Star Wars uh, movie, which is actually just a 20-minute short, and it came with a Lego man, so I thought I'd keep that as well. Uh, so that's pretty much it for my Blu-ray collection. I hope you've enjoyed this video video. Uh, I'll put a few links in the description of uh, Blu-ray box sets that I've already reviewed, and if you want me to review any of these, uh, then just post a comment below and I shall get back to you and review it in my spare time. Uh, so thanks for watching, please leave a like, support the channel, subscribe for more upcoming videos, and I'll see you again. Thanks for watching.